At select Planet Fitness locations, there's an area called PF360, and it provides members with access to exercise equipment beyond standard machines and dumbbells. The area typically features a large yellow rig that is split off into different sections so multiple people can use it at the same time, each performing their own workouts with a wide variety of equipment. Some Planet Fitness locations have 360 rigs that are more sophisticated than others, with some including a full monkey bar zone with eight training spaces, while others may have less. Some locations may also have additional racks or rigs that store other pieces of equipment. There are a countless number of exercises you can perform here for both cardio burn and strength building. A lot of the equipment can be used for functional training, which are exercises that mimic everyday activities and movements, which creates a challenging and more dynamic workout. Functional exercises include push-ups, pull-ups, squats, lunges, and more. Now, let me go ahead and walk you through the different sections of the PF360 rig, noting that there may be some differences with what's available at your location. Dip bars. One section of the rig features an adjustable dip bar, also known as parallel bars. This piece of equipment mainly uses body weight and often targets upper body muscles such as the triceps, chest, shoulders, and back. Some strength building exercises you can perform using the dip bars include tricep dips, incline push-ups, and inverted rows. Battle ropes. Another section of the PF360 rig has a battle rope attached. Battle ropes are a strength and conditioning tool made of thick, heavy duty rope. They can engage your full body and make for an intense workout that can really burn calories and improve your coordination and balance. Common movements include whipping, slamming, or waving, and they activate major muscle groups such as the arms, back, and core. Some exercises that you can perform with battle ropes include alternating waves, double waves, and jump squat slams. Never ending rope. You might find this interesting piece of equipment that features a rope attached to a flywheel that when used, simulates a never ending rope. The exercises here target the upper body, specifically the arms, shoulders, back, and core, and makes for a good workout that can improve strength and endurance. It's good practice too if your goal is to climb an actual rope. Some exercises you can do with the never ending rope include alternating rope pulls, double arm rope pulls, and single arm rope pulls. Pull up bars. There are a few sections within the PF360 rig that feature pull up bars. Although they're referred to as pull up bars, they can also be used for chin ups. The difference between pull ups and chin ups are that pull ups utilize an overhand grip and emphasizes the back muscles, whereas chin-ups place more emphasis on the biceps and forearms. Both exercises are effective for building upper body strength. If you're not ready for straight pull-ups or chin-ups, I recommend using the assisted pull-up machine to help you build up to those exercises. Monkey bars. Perhaps the most interesting part of the PF360 rig is the monkey bars in the center. There are 10 bars that span the length of the rig, and here you can perform climbs across the monkey bars, which is a great way for building your upper body strength. However, this can be really challenging to perform, so an exercise you can do to build your strength for it could be dead hangs. Kettlebells. There are racks on the rig that house individual pieces of equipment, such as kettlebells. Kettlebells are weights that resemble a cannonball with a handle and can be used for upper, lower, and full body exercises. They're a versatile tool that are excellent for strength and conditioning workouts. Some example kettlebell exercises include swings, lunge pass-throughs, upright rows, and squats. Slam balls. Another piece of equipment you might find on the rack are slam balls. Slam balls are weighted balls made of rubber and filled with sand or other materials. They can be used for a variety of strength and conditioning exercises and are typically used for powerful exercises that involve slamming or throwing the ball against a hard surface like the floor. Some exercises you can perform with slam balls include ball slams, dead balls, jumping ball slams, and chest throws. Cable machines. In some sections of the rig, you may find weight stacks and pulleys that make up the cable machines. Cable-based strength training allows for a greater range of motion and activates different muscles when compared to traditional strength training machines. Some exercises you can perform using cable machines are tricep pushdowns, chest flies, and rows. 
Medicine balls. Medicine balls are typically made of rubber and come in different weight sizes. They are often used for core exercises. Additionally, they can be used for cardio. Medicine balls are usually filled with air and can resemble a basketball. Some exercises include weighted sit-ups, Russian twists, and plank holds. BOSU balls. BOSU balls consist of an inflatable rubber dome with a flat bottom. They are typically used to challenge your balance and stability while also building strength. The unstable surface makes your muscles work harder to keep balance. BOSU balls can also be used for cardio. BOSU ball exercises you can perform include squats, push-ups, mountain climbers, and lateral squat hops. TRX. Anchored around the rig or another stable post, you may find the TRX, which is a type of suspension training equipment that consists of straps attached to an anchor point. The straps are adjustable and allow you to perform a variety of bodyweight exercises that target the core, legs, back, chest, and arms. Some exercises you can perform with the TRX include rows, bicep curls, push-ups, lunges, and squats. Stability balls. These giant inflatable balls are known as stability balls or Swiss balls, and they can be used to build both strength and stability. Like with the BOSU, the instability makes the muscles work harder to maintain balance. The ball can also be used for a variety of core exercises. Some exercises using a stability ball include hamstring curls, ball passes, stir the pot planks, step platforms. The step platform is a versatile piece of equipment that allows you to perform many strength and cardio exercises. This tool can be used to replicate plyo boxes and benches. Some exercises you can perform here include decline push-ups, plyometric jumps, and step-ups. Resistance bands. On or around the rig, you might find some resistance bands with handles. These are elastic bands used for strength training that come in a variety of resistance levels. You can use them for both lower and upper body strength training by themselves, or by anchoring the band around the chrome rings. Some resistance band exercises include banded rows, chest presses, squats, and curls. Planet Fitness app. If you want to find more exercises using all these pieces of equipment, the Planet Fitness app is a helpful resource. Once you log into the Planet Fitness app, tap workouts at the bottom, tutorials on the top right, and type in a piece of equipment. This will show you many exercises you can perform with that piece of equipment, as well as instructions and visual aids. Given the wide variety of equipment available, you can create an intense workout that incorporates both intense cardio and strength building. So that's the PF360. Are you going to give it a try? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.